makes lots of appearances on my YouTube channel if you're new here. But I'm excited about today's video because I'm finally doing a full apartment tour. I'm gonna to tell you the name of the building that I've lived in because I am moving out and by the time this video airs, I will no longer live here. All of this will be beautifully packed up and moved into my new space. So I'm going to talk about the building, the location, the uh, unit that we have right now. I'll give you kind of a tour. Oh my gosh, she's obsessed with this blanket. She just pulled it up from her dog bed onto the bed. I can't. It's the cutest thing ever. But anyway, so I live in Uptown Dallas. I live in a three bedroom apartment. So I live with two roommates. So our set up, I am in the master and then my two roommates, they share a bathroom. There is one bedroom that is huge. It's bigger than my room and it has a window. I think it has, yeah, one window. And then it has like a medium sized closet. My closet as the master is huge. Their closets are a little bit smaller. And then the one bedroom, they're connected by the bathroom in the middle. And then the last bedroom towards the front door um, does not have any windows. So just to keep that in mind, if you are looking for three bedroom apartments in Dallas, it is really hard to find like three bedrooms that are all equally proportioned. Like if you wanna have like even numbers of like, you know, everyone has their own bathroom and everyone has a huge closet. like. I think there's only a few handful of apartments that have really well done three bedroom layouts that are like evenly dispersed as far as amenities and size and square footage goes. This one, I will say that, that third bedroom definitely gets the short end of the stick. It did really work for us. And the girl that had that bedroom was totally fine with it. And she loved sleeping like <laughs> super late. So she didn't mind not having the window. Plus our space, like our amenity area, our common areas have like a ton of natural light. So it's not like she was like going without it throughout the whole apartment type thing. So I will share, I'll share the floor plan so you can kind of see exactly like what the apartment looks like as far as like square footage goes. I think it's like 1250 square feet. If I'm, if I guess that right, I'm so proud of myself. Our rent is a little over a thousand dollars a person. If you split or it's a thousand one hundred, if you were to split it evenly, we split it up where I'm paying 1300 as the master. So that's just how we split it up. Um, if you are curious about that, I know rent fluctuates a lot. We got this apartment in August of 2019 and it is an older building, but the amenities are insane. It's been upgraded and um, it's in a great location in uptown Dallas, which I am obsessed with and I love how beautiful like the main lobby is and stuff. But so I will just start giving you a little tour of the space and then talking about each of the areas, but we have loved this apartment. It's been amazing. I'm so sad to leave. I have a whole video about like why I'm moving, how I went about the apartment searching process and all of the things that were my must haves for my new place. And I'll leave a video link for that in the comments below. So right now I'm in the little entry light. What I love about the units here is the secured lock system. So it's like a little key fob situation, looks like this. And I like that it's like an electronic secure lock instead of just like a lock and key. It's really secure. There's also a deadbolt on the door. This is our little entryway area with all of Miller's leashes and where our keys kind of live. And then this is that second first bedroom so this is the one that's technically an office but they market it as a third bedroom because there's a closet in here and so this has double doors um going into it that do not lock i'm gonna put this in a different mode for a second so if it looks a little off it's because it's in like the super zoomed back view so this is like the super long hallway that goes down the apartment this is where our laundry room and it does come with a washer and dryer this is a little hall closet and then this it leads to that second bathroom and then this is that first bedroom so all of those doors i'm not going to go into just for their privacy but i'll show you our common area if you watch my stories i never show the windows just because i don't want people to see exactly where we are um 
but we are on the second floor of a 16 story building, which I at first didn't love, but now I'm kind of obsessed with. I think it works out really well. So this is our main living space. So lots, we kind of, when we moved in, it's kind of a strange space as far as this whole area goes. I couldn't figure out if we were gonna do two couches or what, but this is kind of what we ended up doing with it. Um, it is kind of like a curved space and then we have like the curved island and then it leads into the kitchen here. So it, it was kind of hard to figure out as far as this living room goes, what we were gonna do to style it, but I think it turned out really well. It's so nice and open. It's been so fun to entertain and just have everyone in one space which we've absolutely loved. So I'll talk about this little desk area. So we have never used this actually as a desk. We've always just used it as bar storage, even though we have a little bar cart over there. Three girls, lots of alcohol running around. So we have used it as exterior glass storage. And then the interior has a lot of our fragile Christmas decorations. That cabinet's full of stuff for Miller. And then all the other cabinets is just like storage and stuff. So it's been really nice to have this much storage, especially because those two bedrooms, the closets are a little bit smaller. So for them to have some storage and stuff out here has been really nice as well. And the rest will be in every frame. So this is our balcony and it leads and looks out over this nice area. We have some chairs out there. It's a huge balcony. If you think about an apartment, we definitely didn't need a balcony this big, but loved it. Miller, this toy has got to go. And then this is kind of what Miller's little dog food area. And then looking at the kitchen, there is a ton of storage space in here, which we have totally utilized. And I'm a little nervous about moving to a smaller apartment that doesn't have this much space. So here's the kitchen. Another feature I love about this kitchen is all of this open shelving. So this is on both sides. There's another open shelving there. We have drawers on this side of the cabinets as well. This is great storage. And then we also have some more open shelving there, which I just think is so nice. There's also a little window over the sink, which is nice to get some extra light in here. And all the appliances came with it. And that's a little pantry, which is nice for extra storage. And so we have loved this huge kitchen. It's awesome for three people cooking different meals. It's just, there's always enough space for everyone and there's enough storage, which we have really appreciated. Gave you my doubts and I watched them go. Gave you my fears and we took them slow. kitchen this way is my bedroom there used to be a gold mirror here but I sold it so leaving in here my bed all messed up because Miller just jumped on it so back in my bedroom so I have the master in here and what I love about this particular bedroom are the built-in shelves I've loved styling those and playing with those I just feel like it adds so much into my own bathroom, which is right off there. So leading into my bathroom, I have a sink with lots of counter storage, the, lots of drawer storage, storage there, which has been really nice. Hello. A towel hook there. And then behind this door is open shelving. Not the best, it's a little messy right now, but more storage there. 
and then closet Miller closet here I have done a full closet tour recently so if you want to kind of see details of my closet I'll leave the video for that below as well but it's a huge huge closet for a master I have been so spoiled having this and I'm definitely sad to be leaving this behind Something else that's really cool too is this shower. So it has two shower, there's that one, and then there's like a waterfall shower head too. And then it leads into this like huge open bath, which is so nice. <laughs> Miller, get out of here, come on. Okay, so, so since everything's out of here, I thought I would give you like a little tour of just like the common, or the two, my two roommates bedrooms since they're empty. So this bedroom has two doors and then there's a closet in here, like this size. And then this is their bathroom that they share. So it's kind of like in the middle. And then this is the other bedroom. So this is a really big sized room. I think it's like 17 by 15 or something, but it also has the same side, size closet as the one over there. Another look at the bathroom. They have one sink and then that bedroom doesn't have windows. I think I've said that before. So then this would lead out this way. So that about wraps up some of the amenities with you as well, because we've been really, really happy with the amenities at this apartment, that's one of the definitely the best features. That's some highlights. We have a concierge down there that we pay, I think $50 a month for, split three ways. And basically their purpose is like a doorman. So they can like take packages, they can take like your Uber Eats orders and stuff like that. And they can let people up and then even into your unit with your permission. So that's been a really nice feature to have to not have to like go downstairs to like let people into the building if you're having people over is really nice. But um, it's not one of those like requirement things. It was just kind of a benefit when we moved here. It wasn't something we were really looking for. The gym has amazing features as well. And then if there's a beautiful pool too and then there's garage parking which we also pay for we have just absolutely loved living here there are so many fun memories this is where i brought miller home and it'll always hold a special place in our hearts and i'm really sad to leave but also really excited for this next chapter Bye.